All right, take it off emo mode, these guys. Please, no spoiling. Please, no spoiling. All right, so I really do hope, though, that part two, I dominate so thoroughly that y'all just shut the hell up. Uh, less than 15 minutes because I've friggin' just crushed that one. Almost less than 12. If I didn't have to lecture you guys for stop spoiling, I might have had that in less than 12. Welcome to Costco. Okay, probably I not. I didn't you. spend a minute 40, but I was close. Iron Man dies in this one. Damn it. Don't spoil. There's aliens? Uh, all right. Everyone will starve if you only plant such a small number of seeds. Re, uh, reading, rereading the almanac, it looks like the seeds line actually describes the range of seed numbers. Okay, interesting. So this is obviously where the issues start taking place. I can feel my brain already running with solutions, but I, I should probably, um, I should be careful at this point. Because now it sounds like we have effectively just a bunch of ranged spacing. Like, we can't check every single seed because it's going to take too long to do. Therefore, you need to know how long your range exists for so you can just, like, auto-magically calculate all the same things at the same time. Uh, anyways, that's what it feels like. Uh, line, let's see. Line actually describes a range of seed numbers. The values... All right. The values of the initial seed lines comes in pairs. With, uh, within each pair... The first value is the start of the range, and the second value is the length of the range. So, in the first example, uh, these ones exist. Okay, easy. This range describes uh, two ranges Welcome of seed Welcome to numbers. Costco. All right, so before we, before we get going, let me see how big we got. All right, so obviously that's a problem. JavaScript doing 300 and, um, 316 million of anything I mean, this is problematic. So, I'm really going to have to think about how do I want to do this? That's wild. I, don't, I, I honestly don't even have an algorithm off the top of my head to, to, to solve this part. I don't even have one. I, I mean, I can brute force this one, but I'd want to use something like Rust to brute force the shit out of it, right? Um, but that's ridiculous. Okay, so let's make sure we understand the full complexity of the problem. All right, so we have these seeds. Um, that's crazy number range, though. This line describes ranges of seed numbers to be planted in the garden of the first range with seed number 79 and contains 14. All right, let's see. 79, 80, 90, yeah, yeah, yeah. The range starts with seed numbers. Okay, 53 contains 13, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, okay, we get this. Now, rather than considering uh, four seed numbers, you need to consider 27 seed numbers. In the above, the above example, the second location, or the lowest location, can be obtained from seed 82, which corresponds to soil 84, which corresponds blah, 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 blah. Okay. Welcome to Costco. I love you. It's so over. This is so over. I it 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 is it is it this is so over. I thought I had something. This is so over. It's so over. I think I I think I have one in my head of how to do it fast. I think I have something in my head to do this fast. But first, I need to say thank you to commitment that I've never seen in my entire lifetime. H Mida. I've never seen commitment like this. Tier three, six months in advance. I would like to say thank you for that. Appreciate that. We are not Barack. We are not Barack. Dang it, I have to pee so bad, but I know you guys are going to say I cheated, and I don't know what to do here. I honestly don't know if I can hold it all the way through. Um, uh, oh, gosh. Okay, so. Do I even have an answer? I guess I, I, I kind of have an answer. All right, so I do have a shortcut. I think I could do this, but this walk is going to get a little bit wild. Are you ready for, like, how wild this walk is going to get? Would you like me to explain my idea first, or would you like me just to run? I think you just want me to run. Is usually... What you want. But I got an idea. I got an idea on this one. This one is it's it's not the hardest. 
It's wild, though. Okay, what, what I'm about to do is wild as it gets. My basic idea is that I can keep the maximum range in which I could walk from, st from seed to location. That is my basic idea. So I'm going to start the timer. And then we're going to see that. I'm going to just do a basic shortcut. How's the YouTube video you watched on 16X? All right. Before we start the timer, manage prediction. Start a prediction. Um, I don't think I can do this in less than 10 minutes. Because I'm really worried about flossing that range through Skylar's world thank you very much i appreciate that the dutch let's go appreciate that let's go and uh, Klaxta, uh, thank you for the tier one someone asked my nickname thank you for the 30 months of someone having your nickname battle orbit thank you for the brand new twitch prime and cock porn thank you very much for the resubscribe i cannot believe cock porn you've been here for that long geek master thank you for the tier one 26 months damn appreciation thoroughly all right so this next part is going to get a little bit wild i hope everybody's ready uh runtime also counts runtime also counts but i, I wouldn't be worried about the runtime i think that it's going to take three seconds to run welcome to costco two seconds i love you it's not going to be hard i honestly don't it, this problem's not hard it's just me i am most definitely worried about the runtime that's because you didn't do it right um i'm most certainly worried at at how like just me making sure getting the right solution i'm much more worried about being correct than the uh than the speed right the speed is so easy it's so easy okay you guys ready all right i'm not worried about making this fast the the answer is right in front of you sir welcome to costco it's it's, it's it's annoying i'm worried about going Maria! the entire time trying to make sure that i got it correct okay here we go start time and let's go okay so i'm going to update my walk and i need i need to be able to return more than just the value uh range okay and i'm going to return more than the value i'm going to return two things value and range okay so now that we have that understood i'm going to go down here and i'm going to set my initial range as um Actually, first I gotta go to the seeds because the seeds can't just be this. So the seeds are all now crazy, right? The seeds are crazy. For let uh, I, I equals uh, zero, I has to be less than seeds length, uh, except for we're gonna go plus equals two, and we're gonna go. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, seed values. There we go. I don't know why I didn't just rename those here. Uh, seed values. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to go const seeds equals this just to make it easy and go uh, seeds push. And I'm going to go like this. Uh, start is going to be seed value I and end. Uh, let's see. end length is going to be that. Okay. Pretty straightforward, right? Can we all agree? Pretty straightforward. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So now that we have that, I should be able to take seed values of this. So I should be able to go like this. Uh, start. And then I should also be, oh, not seed values. Come on, uh, it's seeds. I should be able to go start and I should be able to go length. So that is my range. So let's just make sure I can get my range correct. So when I grab a value out of this, I, I am constricted by the range of the, what I'm finding. And so this range right here becomes a range of one. I cannot go any faster than this. There is no range for me to operate in. But this one I can because I know something about it. I know that the range has I wish I had autocomplete. Son of a... Uh, range. Um, so that means range. I have to go like this. Math.min range and... Oh, crap. I called it. I already called this thing range. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. D -d -d Darn it. Darn it. Range item i'm a genius i'm a genius i am a genius you know like sometimes i sit here and i just realize i'm just basking in my genius uh all right range item range right range item i think okay so if i've done this correctly i'm just going to print out the range items here okay are you ready for this
Okay, fantastic. See, look, look at this. I can take most of the range. I can take 290 million of this range right off the rip. So I don't even need to calculate out. Those are answers I already know all the answers to. Right? This is why there's minimum there's minimum length. Okay, so so we do know that I can do this. Okay. So let's let's make sure we use input as opposed to this cuz honestly, it's too confusing looking at that. So as you can see, 814, there we go. So I believe I've got this all correct. Um, as you can see right here, let's let's look at these ranges. See, 79 contains 14 values. Yeah, 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 yeah. 55 contains 13 values. So that means, let's see, in the above example, the lowest location number can be obtained from the seed number 82, which corresponds to the soil 84. Yes. Okay. 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 So this is good. This is good. All right. So I think we can do this. All right. So here's the trick. When I go here, I go like this. Let uh, 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 remaining equals seed length. While remaining is greater than zero, we're going to do this. I'm going to walk starting let start equals seed start. And I'm going to walk this. Okay, so now that we got that, um, uh, st start location, right, and uh, consumed. Uh, hopefully this all makes sense because this is, like I said, I don't think this is that hard. I don't think this is, I don't think this is that hard. Okay, so then it go remaining minus equals consumed. All right, so if I've done this, then I'm saying that I guess 57 is my lowest. Ooh, what, what, okay, so what have I, what have I incorrectly grabbed here? What have I incorrectly grabbed here? Am I, am I grabbing the wrong item out of here? I know that I'm close. I thought it was this. Maybe it did. I didn't get him backwards or anything, right? 81, consumed 14, 57. Oh, is that my, what am I returning here? Am I returning the right thing out? Hold on. Let's make sure that we're returning the right value out. So that should be it. Starting locations 81. Did I, am I reading this thing wrong? All right, from seed 82, right? So I have 81, seed 81. Why is that? I know I'm, I know I'm very, very close. I know, I, had, I know I'm super, super close, right? I know I'm super, super close. Okay, hold on. Uh, start remaining. All right, let me just make sure I understand this. We're starting at 79 for 14. It goes to 81 and consumed all 14, which makes sense. We're starting walk at 55 with length 13, and it goes to 57, and it consumed thir uh, 13. Is that right? I must not be walking correctly enough here. I must be putting in some bad number here. I'm putting in some bad number. Uh, console log uh, walk. All right. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so I've done the wrong thing. Okay, we've done the wrong thing right off the rip. Okay, and I believe, shoot, it's not this. It's item.2. Okay, perfect. Range dest, okay, range dest. Undefined 48. Okay. Oh. Welcome to Costco. I love you. All right. Well, they're saying that I have a minimum of 48. Okay, interesting. Why am I getting a bunch of ones? I should be getting no ones. I should not be getting ones. Why am I getting a bunch of ones? Do I have something incorrect here? See, this is the shitty thing I didn't want to have to deal with. I'm dealing with the shitty way, uh, the shitty, the shittiness, uh, the sh shittiness. All right, so let's let's look at let's look at the fertilizer range just for a second. 
Uh, fertilizer range. Oh, I don't have any of the ranges being displayed. Let's just make sure that I'm not doing something crazy. See, this is where I figured that I'd spend all my time on this crap. And I'm listening to a song I don't want to listen to. And it's making me upset. Okay, it's making me upset. Fertilizer, let's see. Yeah, see, we, we get constrained pretty quickly on fertilizer right here. So if we go to fertilizer at... Let's see. Starting walk. Let's see. 7914. It goes to soil, which is 81. And then 81, there is no. Let's see. Soil, 81. Yeah, I guess there is no 81, so it has to walk this through. So it has to walk it through on that one. We have to walk it through individually on this one, which it sounds like a bunch of nothing. Look at that. Starting walk. I'm not updating anything, am I? Shoot. Shoot. I'm so stupid. It's so... It, the answer was literally right in front of me, which is start plus equals consumed. The answer was literally sitting in front of me. 46. 46. Okay. So I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I think we should probably get this thing... And uh, D5. I'm hoping that I can constrict the values enough. Because then I calculate the ranges only once, is what I'm hoping. Dang it, I thought this would take me... I thought this was going to take me th about three seconds to run. Damn it! All right, hold on. Let's just see how bad is it. How bad are we talking about? Console log. So I'm pretty much jumping by one. Yeah, see, it's a bunch of ones. Damn. I really thought that was going to be the I really thought that was going to be the the ripper. I really thought that was the I really thought I had a genius plan there. I'm not sure how you'd solve it otherwise. Honestly. Do you know what I mean? If only Node was multi-threaded. Do you keep track of all the range splits? Uh, but I, I walk the range splits. Yes. So I, I walk all these range splits. All right. So let's think about this for a second. I really thought that that was going to work. Oh, I did get one big consume. Let's go. I did hey, I did cow I did just crush out 128 million. Okay? We did get at least one of them crushed out. Okay. Because the problem is, is that you can't look into the future, right? Okay, we're actually getting through quite a few pair of these. This one might actually be done pretty quick. I ran out of memory. I ran out of memory, which is unfortunate. Uh, 
I mean, a simple fix, really. It's a simple fix. Not too worried about that fix. Trivial. Well, I mean, we all knew what the thing was. I'm going to lose my points. I actually think I got this right. If I didn't get this right, I'm going to cry. Honestly, if I just don't get it right, then I, I just, I, I, do I just give up? Can we see top? It's 100%. There's nothing to look at. Oopsies. I mean, top. It's, a, it's, it's. We're not doing a brute force approach, I don't think. We're doing a, a, a tree branching, a, a trimming solution that does work. Obviously, we've. I'm not sure how you would do this without a branchable solution. You know what I mean? Because I don't know how to create ranges in ranges in which... I mean, I guess I could create negative ranges. I could create some sort of negative range. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, that would be the answer. Okay. So, that that's the answer. Is that in all the places that don't... That don't exist that don't have ranges, you create ranges in between. And you say like, hey, this is the maximum range to the next place. You know what I mean? That would be the answer. And then you could do this really, really fast. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So that's actually not too hard. All right. So while this thing runs, I can just do that really quickly. That shouldn't, uh, that shouldn't be too hard. I just don't want to miss it. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's a little tricky. You just have to, yeah, you just have to do you just have to do all the inverted ranges, right? See, because we're still consuming like a lot, right? We're we're almost through all of this. Yeah, the inverted ranges is all I need to do. Because there, there's an implicit range that's happened. Fuck me. Are you serious? What a shitty way to lose. What a shitty way to have to rerun this. Like really, like that that's actually gonna cost that's actually gonna cost me my timing, isn't it? Yeah. That's co that cost Welcome that to literally Costco. cost me the timing. I love you. Yeah, I mean we're gonna be here at least. We're gonna be here, so that's nice. My points. I know. If I would have saw the inverse double ranges, I think that's all that's all I really had to focus on. The thing is, I still have to get it right. You know what I mean? I still have to get it right. I do not like what I'm listening to at all. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Um, Welcome to Costco. Costco. I, love, I you. love you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I do want to see if I can do this. I do want to see if I can do this though, because I think I could do this really easy. Thanks for all. Uh, thanks for all that. I don't think it's going to be too hard. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be too hard. Um, all right. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, what, what's it called? What's the? Yeah. I do want, I actually do want to do this, but I also want to get the timing correct. I don't want to miss this. You know what I mean? I don't want to miss this. Thank you, Akre. I appreciate Welcome that. Welcome to Costco. I appreciate that next door name at Seek. Thank you, Cave, uh, Cat, man, uh, Cat Dev Man. I appreciate that. We're going we're gonna to do the negative ranges after this because that would be the other thing that actually really works. 17 minutes in? Well, let's see. Ooh, yeah, you're right. 17 minutes in. Thank you, robot. So I don't want to miss this. You know what I mean? I don't want to miss this. What are your thoughts on communism? Nice try, TJ. TJ's just, TJ, dude, if the, if the answer's wrong, I just give up. I, if the answer's wrong, I go to work. I cannot believe that I got it wrong. I actually got it wrong.
how, though? That should have been right. Right? That, that should be right. I believe... I thought... Okay, what am I missing on this algorithm? I thought I, thought I was correct here. I'm not humbled. Don't worry. I still think I'm a, uh, I still think I'm amazing. Your answer got stuck on 420. It was too high. You're thinking line 50 is wrong? If source is less than value, dude, imagine, imagine if that's actually what, imagine if that's actually what it is. You just help me, which I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about, but imagine, imagine if that was it, dude, imagine if that, if that's it. I, 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 you deserve a ban, by the way. You should not do that. But imagine if I am literally off by just one. I am actually off by a singular item like that. Okay? Just, I mean, I... I, I, I would be shambles. All right? Uh, let's go like this, and I want one more. Let's go like this. Um, All right, so once we create all the ranges, so I'm going to skip this step. Yep, and then after that, after I get this thing done, after I do the parsed, then I'm going to go parsed for each P and go P.map equals create negative ranges P.map. So there you go. I have the highest value. I have the highest possible value now sticking around. There we go. Fantastic. So now I should be able to create negative ranges. You know what I mean? Negative ranges should also not be too hard, right? Negative ranges should not be too hard. We do a little range of this thing. Let's see. If, let's see, okay, let's see what Copilot had to say. If range, let's see, get the range. If range uh, source is less than start, yes, uh, splice into this. Hey, thank you. I appreciate whatever just weird noise Capitalism I just heard. Capitalism sucks. Give us our points. Tomato. Barbado, Trinidad and Tobago. Tomato, 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 Barbado, Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, that was that was a, that was that was a slapper dog. Appreciate that. Appreciate that slapper, okay? All right, so this is what it's saying that I got. I don't think I got this answer right. Yeah, okay, it's too high. Okay, 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 okay. So obviously, I don't think I've done a good job. I must have messed up something that I don't quite understand why. If my value's within this range, I know what it is. If the value is within the range great this is my new value start and it, the min is not this the min is not that oh my goodness the min is not that the min is not that uh 
Uh, it's you have to take off the remaining range. Like I obviously overshot all my ranges right there. So close. All right, so I'm just gonna try and let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens if I use my new negative ranges and see what I get. Boom. It was lower. I am so smart. <laughs> negative ranges were so good. Tell me negative ranges were not awesome. Are you guys just shocked at how great those negative ranges worked? Got to put it in the brain, okay? Put it in the brain. Uh, <laughs> explain negative ranges. Okay, so uh, I know. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this thing. Yeah, it's 23 minutes. I, I failed. I failed in my timing. Negative ranges. I mean, I was right on the ranges. I just did that stupid thing right there. I was close. That was pretty good, though. Like, look at that. Look how fast that is. Was that great? Okay, so the problem is not actually all that hard. So here, here's how I looked at it in my head, okay? Is that... You good? Okay, so you can imagine this one. This is seeds to soil, right? And you have a bunch of start and stop numbers, right? So you can imagine you have a bunch of these ranges, right, that are kind of existing, and they're all various sizes, right? And so here, here let's see, my points, baby. Uh, TJ, Welcome did you like Costco. how fast that sweet solution was? You. you know you did, right? And then you're going to have soil uh, to whatever. You get the idea, right? You get the idea. And so the idea is this, right? And then you have many ranges and all that kind of stuff. So the idea is that if you get a value right into here, right, somewhere in here, the amount of units I can process are from this starting point until the end. They all map the exact same to soil. Does Welcome that make to sense? Costco. I love you. Right? And so where that maps to is the new starting location. And so wherever that maps to in the next item... I have to repeat that algorithm. Okay, so I have a range that's possibly from 0 to X, and it goes into this smaller range, which means the most I can kind of fit through is, is the smallest range I pass through. And so what made negative ranges so good is that you have these basic ranges right in here that are specified, right? Welcome to Costco. I love then, you. I had to go one by one through this, right? I had to just walk one by one through this super, 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 super annoyingly. Well, why? They all map to the exact same value on the other side. You can think of an empty space range as where the source and destination are the same and the range goes from the previous end value to up to but not including the next start value. Does that make sense? So my negative ranges is what sped the whole thing up because then all I had to do was just put this right in here. And then I, instead of going one at a time, I say, oh, well, it's already just a range and the range is this big. Yeah. They're, just, they're, they're just the missing gaps. Because look, look at the, look at the rule. L look at the rule. The rule is not too confusing. Um, here, here's the rule. The rule's this. If I cannot find the value as a ranged item, I literally take my current value and map it into the next map. So do you know what that means? That's no different than saying that the source is the same value as the destination and its range is up until the next defined range. Right? Like that makes inherent sense. So I'm saying, oh, there actually is a hidden range that's just not specified, which is the one-to-one. -one. It's the same. The source and the destination have the same starting value, and it has a large range. That's all we're doing here. And so I just did a quick little walk, 
where I take I find the minimum range, which is it's it really I mean truly in the most uh, tr truly 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 I I say unto you <laughs> this is just this is just a max flow problem, right? If you don't know Ford Falkerson, all it is. By the way, Michael, very he's very good at this. Ford Falkerson, all it is is it just finds an augmenting path through the graph, right? That's all I'm doing is finding an augmenting path where I take the minimum of all the edges. So this one right here has a minimum of eight. That's what I'm doing with the ranges. I'm finding the minimum range I can pass through at one time and then skipping that entire section because that entire section, the lowest location is the first one. So that means the next one I don't even have to know about. I don't even care because we all know it increments by one from there on out. And the moment I break and go to the next range, then I have to hop to the next one and do it again. I learned this one on the fem stream. It felt so good. Yeah, so that's all I did was just simply do that. So if we just go down here and I go like this, if we look at our output, you can see I'm consuming. These are the ranges I'm consuming, right? My very first range is there's, there's 8.1 there's 8 million effectively negative ranges that I'm just walking up to, taking that first point, is this the lowest? Then I go to this next one. I can skip this many again. The next 59 million all belong to the same block. I just need to take the first location. Is this the lowest? Go to the next one. This is that 113 million that we saw before that we're like, hey, is this, or 11 million. We just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. I have so many questions. I wish I had a whiteboard because this, it's so much easier on a white, honestly, it's so much easier on a whiteboard. Um, yeah, I'll push it to GitHub. Think of it like this, is that you're given a series of ranges, right? It doesn't really matter what those ranges are. And then the next section has other ranges. And then it just keeps on repeating itself. So it doesn't really matter. So you can imagine that if you start right here, we'll just call this position X. And this has from position uh, Y naught to uh, y, YN, right? That means this range right here and down have all the same next values added by one. So the range of X to y, YN will have all the same values, right? So this range is all spoken for and wherever it goes, awesome. So let's say it goes into this middle thing. So now I fill in this negative range, right? I figure out this negative range right here and it goes to right here. So then I do it again. I say, okay, this is the maximum range. Whatever is the smallest, whatever the maximum range is. So I keep track of that maximum range all the way through that I can follow. And then I just take my start and I add the minimum range I can traverse in one go. Because we all know that that means X zero maps to whatever this ending is. Let's just call it X prime zero, right? And let's just say my range is A. Let's just say my range is A. It's some large amount. That means X prime uh, one all the way up to X prime A. Each one of the locations is literally going to be L, L plus one, all the way up to L plus A. We only need to find the lowest location. We already know all of these are bad. This is just the classic L plus ratio. Right? There's a neat animation. Oh, cool. What's the animation? Yeah, there you go. See? Look at it. Yeah, see? Okay. Here. Okay, I did, yeah, I, yeah. Go look at this animation. I think it's kind of horseshit, but that's just me. Um, anyways. Welcome to Costco. You get the idea. I love you. Each one of these maps over, right? Hot dog water, dude, it is, it is lukewarm dog water right now. It's super confusing. I have no f clue what is happening here. Thank you, Lucifredo. Anyways, hopefully my little drawing makes more sense, which I think it does, which is that this is a range that I, I'm, I'm potentially able to take. 
right? Here's, let's just call this R0. And then this next range, oh, that's weird. I'm having like leg there for a second. This is R1. And I have to take every single time, I have to take the minimum of R0 and R1. And that's the maximum number I can walk at any one point. Which I, that should inherently make sense. I got ratioed. Yeah. Does that make sense? So that's my new ratio or that's my ratio. <laughs> my new range, my new range. Gosh, I am so much better than you guys. You guys can suck it. Uh, but what happens if the next range doesn't completely cover the first one? Exactly. So low level learning. That's why notice here, my range only takes, see this small amount that it's taking. I don't take the next range into here because this mapping is completely different than the previous mapping. I don't know where this new mapping goes to. So I only go within the range I fall into up until the end. So wherever I land up until the end is a valid range. That's why I had that bug in the beginning. Uh, that's why I had this bug and I was too large is because I didn't do this. I had to make sure that I included my, my, my start position, right? Because wherever I was in the range is how much range I have left. And so I just have to simply keep taking the minimum range over and over again until we get there. Okay. Anyways, that was awesome. I thought that was awesome. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little offended, guys, right here, that while I was crushing it, there was 2,200 people watching it. And then the moment I solve it, everyone's like, all right, he's stupid. He got it. Fuck him. And left. Okay. You didn't even wait for my explanation. You didn't even wait for my explanation, which was awesome, by the way. Okay, this was a great explanation. This was a great problem. And I, you know what the best part is? Is that TJ took 10 minutes to run his, okay? 